the A321XLR, a promising name in the aviation industry. With it, you could travel from Paris to Boston, Lisbon to Rio, Dubai to Madrid, LA to Lima. Multiple airlines announced to fly this aircraft to many destinations around the world and also more and more low-cost airlines will strive for market share in the long-haul market because of lower turnaround times. It is an aircraft that will revolutionize the aviation industry. But is the A321XLR as good as it seems? To understand potential problems, we have to look into how a plane's fuel tanks are structured in a normal aircraft. A normal aircraft has its fuel in the wings, but the AC21XLR has its tanks in the wings and in the rear center, behind the main landing gear, and optional in front of the landing gear. But that can lead to dangerous situations. Boeing's concerns. In 2021, Boeing. we are getting some headlines from a Boeing. Boeing raised concerns that the rear center fuel tank could be a big problem. It stated that the RCT could due to your internal volume heating be vulnerable to external fire because the tank could catch fire in an emergency. <coughs> but Boeing shouldn't complain about safety. The law states Regulation 14 CFR requires all thermal acoustic insulation in the lower half of the airplane fuselage and the insulation to comply with the flame penetration resistance to raise the level of post crash fire safety on transport category airplanes. The position of the tank is also problematic because it's direct behind the main landing gear which could be a problem if the gear has a serious malfunction. For example, if the tire bursts and due to the friction of the landing gear on the runway, that could lead to fire. Additionally, Boeing said that the runway excursion or landing gear malfunction could be an issue with the fuel tank if the structural integrity was compromised. The wall of the tank is also part of the fuselage. It does not meet the requirement for the acoustic and thermal insulation anymore. That could be a problem in case of extreme heat outside the aircraft. Cold feet. IESA said that also the rear center tank could cause a cold feet effect because on high altitudes the fuel temperature is getting pretty low so there could be a chance that the cold rises up to the passenger cabin above the rear center tank. IESA also required Airbus to equip fire resistant insulation pads and not normal ones because in case of an accident this gives the passengers more valuable time to leave the plane. But Airbus pointed out that it's not possible due to too little space and ventilation issues around the rear center tank. One of its main customers, Airlis Corporation chairman Steven Utvarhezi, told Air Insight in June that the lesser has also suggested various modifications to Airbus to make the tank safer. They suggested that Airbus should add a Kevlar lining around the aluminium tank. Kevlar is light and that will not have a big impact on the range of the XLR. The most probable outcome will certainly be that the range of the XLR will be slightly reduced to the additional weight to make this recenter fuel tank fire and crash proof. Therefore, Airbus has postponed the release to 2024. What do you think? Will we see the A21 XLR in 2024? If you liked the video, please subscribe and help to grow this channel together.